engines, ladder trucks, and ambulances, all things that you see at a fire station. I'm at station 192 today, and we're talking about a new resource that was just put into service that is improving customer service and response times. I've got Assistant Chief Brian Leathers here with me today, and we're talking about this new piece of equipment, MR192, just recently put into service, and it's a welcome addition for you all with Peoria Fire Medical. That's correct. This is gonna help us a great deal with our call volume. For those that don't know, the last calendar year, we had approximately 28,000 calls for service, and 24,000 of those were EMS medical related. So we need help getting to all the huge number of medical related incidents. So a lot of medical calls, which means that putting something like this in service would help to lower response times. That's one of the goals, correct? Absolutely. Creating better customer service when the public calls at a time of need. Who is staffing this truck? Who's on this truck? Well, this truck here, as you see, it looks like a, a pickup truck because it is designed on the frame of a pickup truck. And there's a reason for that. But this is staffed exactly like any of our responding vehicles, whether that's a fire engine, a ladder truck, it's staffed with the exact same emergency medical equipment that you'd find on an engine is on this truck, as well as the personnel. It's, it's staffed with four personnel. We have a, a captain, an engineer, and two firefighters. On them, they will always be staffed with a minimum of two paramedics, ALS, advanced life support, and two EMTs at all times. So it's staffed exactly like a fire engine or a ladder truck. The only difference is it's way more affordable to put into service. So. As you can imagine, a fire engine is extremely expensive. And this truck is way cheaper to purchase, way cheaper to maintain, and it costs way less to run. So we can get out there and handle all those medical calls at a far cheaper price for the citizens and the taxpayers. And get to them faster, exactly. which is somebody that calls 911, that's what they want. They want to know that uh, somebody's going to be there on their worst day in record time. Exactly, and not only response times, because it will decrease response times, but it also increases our reliability. And what that means, if our fire engine that's normally stationed here is already out on a call, they can't respond to another call. So now we've doubled our efforts. It, it increases our reliability. I understand, and I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but you look at data continually. So when you put something like this into service, you're gonna monitor it over the next year and see what it's helping with and see other areas in town that maybe could use an added resource like this. This is what helps you foresee what is needed for the department. That is absolutely correct. We keep data all the time on all of our fire stations, all of our areas of response, all of our engines. And if we see like here at station 192, we were getting beat up with a high call volume. So we put this in service as a 40 hour response and we'll keep data on that. And if we see the need, this can easily transition into a 24 hour truck and help us you know, around the clock. Well, thank you so much and congrats on that. Thank you. And uh, good news for the residents in Peoria. Very good news. Thank you. As always, thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more episodes as we focus on the issues that matter to you.